Wow, it's cold outside. Well, it's time for me to get back to painting this new painting. Today is Friday. I'm going to work on this thing as much as I possibly can today. This is the third time on this. I think I got it squared away as far as the wood goes and how the chrome is supposed to look. I think I got that right. The problem that I had the last time was the decal. So this time I drew out the decal and I'm all ready to put it in, in here again. But this time I want to paint the whole background first. Inside the windows, maybe all the black that's under here the reflection and all the chrome. You know, I want to do everything that has something to do with the darkest, deepest colors in this painting, except for the wood. The wood will probably be the last detail I do on it. So, I guess it's time to start masking. I put this over here, I reminded what I'm supposed to be doing, and that is after our memo, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything after our. I gotta remember that this time. Two times I've now forgotten that. So when I think I'm done today, go to bed or whatever. You know, you get tired after a while. Your eyes get hurting. You know, you get your eyes get straining. You're, you get a little bit more shaky. When it gets to that point, call it a night, go get some sleep and start the next day. That's what I have to remember. I should maybe darken that in so I can see it. Maybe I will. But anyhow, now I have to go mix up some paint. Well, I bought myself a new airbrush. And I have forgotten how nice it is to have a professional airbrush. This is the Awada Neo. I think it's a CN and it's got the color cup on the top holds quite a bit of paint I really like it and I've done these fine lines in here with this this is I've got white in here right now and you can kind of see how nice that is I'm just trying to fill in some of these lines I decided to work on the um, the decal first of all. 
in this uh, in this third part of this painting because that's the part in the last two that I got all messed up in. So what I'm doing here now is I'm painting what would be underneath underneath the uh, the decal. So I'm gonna get the decal up here. I'm gonna put some tape on it. I'm gonna bring the tape down and put it in position down here and then start spraying. Now that I've got the white in here I can put the stripes in and I guess that's all I need to do is just put the white stripes in. And I'll get some blue and I'll put in the blue and then I'll put in the stars I guess. And God Bless America is in blue and I'm not sure if I'm going to hand letter that or cut that all out and airbrush it. One of the problems that I am having with uh, the board that's been sprayed now is it's got little tiny bumps in it which I don't really like but next time I do it I'm gonna have to sand my board down and get rid of all these little bumps from the spray so I'll catch you later so I'm just kind of spraying in the white now and where the detail is going to be nice and I'm going to just let that dry for a little bit. Want to see a sneak peek? I'll show you a sneak peek. Ah, I'll just pick it up. No, no, no. I'll just say peek. I'll take it off completely, but it's so hard to reposition this thing if I do that. So I'm just going to leave it like this. So as you can see right now, I just removed all these pieces that are going to be the red areas. And what you're seeing here in, is in the black is now going to be brought into red. And I'll be masking off the white now. It's a lot of work. It's worth it though the fun part of it all right so now we got this thing everything that's in black is going to be sprayed red I already got the paint mixed up and what I'm doing is I'm just spraying the red into the area that's going to be the darkest red right now let that dry and then I'll continue to spray that probably four or five coats just for the dark area I'm using the Liquitex ink, acrylic inks. I like these a lot. Kind of expensive, but you really don't have to add any water or anything else to them. To thin them out a little bit or to make them go farther, you can add airbrush medium though, which is neat.
I'm gonna start spraying the whole thing. I'm just gonna do a thing called back flushing to mix the paint. Mix. What you're doing is you're mixing the paint in the cup. Add some white to this and start bringing out some highlights. That should do it. Now all I have to do is add the blue and put the stars in. I do have to make this, I have to let this dry now because it's just way too wet. So we'll catch you back in a little bit.
Well, here we are again. It's November 5th. It's going to be almost 70 degrees outside. I can't believe it. Wonderful. I'm going to be working today once again on this painting of the side of the woody. And what I'll be working on basically is the door handle, probably for the next hour. And then I'll be doing the three other little buttons. And after they're done, I'll mask the whole thing off and I'll start working on the different sections of the wood. So it should be an interesting day. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 